this video, we are going to be converting between fractions and decimals. Before we start, I would like to show you these two vocabulary that we're going to be using. Terminating decimal. Basically, it's a decimal that ends. For example, 1 and 5 tenths is a decimal that ends. Negative 0 and 25 hundredths is a decimal that ends. And, I don't know, 10 and 36 hundredths is a decimal that ends. And I'm going to show you what do I mean by a decimal that ends in a couple of minutes. We're also going to be using this vocabulary word, repeating decimal. A repeating decimal is basically a decimal that has a pattern that repeats. For example, if I have negative one and three, 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 as you can see, it keeps repeating, all right? So instead of you just writing it like that until infinite, like forever, we use this negative one and three, and then you put a bar notation. So basically this little bar here represents or shows the digits that are repeating. For example, if I have negative two and 52, 52, 52, as you can see the pattern that it's repeating here, it is 52. So my decimal will be negative two and 52, and the bar notation will be on top of these two numbers, okay? Let's see another example of a repeating decimal. So for example, if I have three and 51, let's see. As you can see, the number that keeps repeating is the number three. So this is a way that you write this repeating decimal. 3.513, and then I will put just the, on top of the three, the bar notation. You see, I did not place a bar notation up top of the five and the one because those are not the numbers that are repeating. The one that keeps repeating is the number three. So that's the way that you represent a repeating decimal by drawing a bar notation on top of the numbers or the digits that are repeating itself, okay? So, as you know, today we're going to be writing fractions and also mixed numbers as decimals. So let's take a look at this first example. Write negative two and one fourth as a decimal. So the first thing that you need to do is to change this decimal into an improper fraction, okay? So let's see. If I have, if I find the absolute value and just find it, like it will be positive two and one fourth, but I'm going to find the mixed number. So it will be four times two, which is eight, a plus one, which is nine. So I have negative nine, and the denominator will always stay the same out of four, okay? I want you to remember, because it can be a little confusing, which is going to be the number outside and which is number, which is going to be the number that is going to be inside the division. So the denominator will always be outside, four, okay? Divided by nine, okay? So that's what you do when you want to change a mixed number into a decimal. So let's see. Four fits into nine two times because four times two is equals to eight. Nine minus eight is equals to one. But here I have a situation. I cannot have this number, this remainder here. I need to continue. So remember that at the end of any whole number, you have a decimal point and infinite amount of zero. So I'm going to put a decimal point here. I'm going to put, remember that when you're dividing decimals, you just put it up, this decimal point right here. So I'm going to add my invisible zero, and I'm going to bring it down. So now I have 10. So 4 fits into 10, again, two times, because 4 times 2 is equals to 8. 10 minus 8 is equals to 2. 
So I need to bring down another of the, my invisible zeros. So I, now I have 20. 4 fits into 20 five times. There you go. Because 4 times 5 is equals to 20. Now I got to 0 here. So my answer is negative 2 and 25 hundredths. In this case, I got a terminating decimal because it just ended here. You see, I don't have to continue like a pattern. So I got a terminating decimal. Let's try to do this other example. Write negative 7 and 3 eighths as a decimal. Remember, pause the video and try to do it by yourself. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is to change this mixed number into an improper fraction. So 8 times 7 is equals to 56, and 56 plus 3 is equals to 59. So negative 7 and 3, 8 is the same as negative 59 out of 8. Denominator will go outside, 8, divided by 59. There you go. So you already know that 8 fits into 59 basically 7 times because 8 times 7 is equals to 56. 59 minus 56 is equals to 3. Now I cannot leave it like that. I need to bring down one of the invisible zeros. I'm going to place my decimal point here and my invisible zero. Remember to move the decimal point, bring down this zero. So now I have 30. 8 fits into 30, well, three times because 8 times 3 is 24. 30 minus 24 is 6. So I need to bring down another invisible zero. 8 fits into 60, well, seven times because 8 times 7, it is 56. 60 minus 50 is 4. So again, I need to bring down another invisible 0. So I got 40. 8 fits into 40 five times. Because 8 times 5 is equal to 40. And there you go. I got another terminating decimal. So my answer is negative, remember that this was negative, negative 7 and 375 thousandths. So this is my final answer. Again, this is a terminating decimal, okay? Pause the video and try to do this one by yourself. All right, in this case, this is not a mixed number. This is just a fraction, so I can just divide it right away. Remember that the denominator will be outside and the denominator inside this tiny box, okay? So 11 does not fit into 5, so it will be 0 because 11 times 0 is 0, okay? 5 minus 0 is 5. Now, I need to bring down my invisible zeros here. I'm going to place my zero. Remember the decimal point. Put it up. Now I'm going to bring it down. 11 fits into 50 four times because 11 times 4 is 44. 50 minus 44 is 6. But I need to bring down another zero. Now I have 60. 11 fits into 60 five times because 11 times 5 is 55. There you go. 60 minus 55 is equals to 5. So I need to bring down another zero. So it will be 50. Four times because 11 times 4 is 44. So 50 minus 44 is 6. I don't know if by now you can see the pattern that I keep getting the same number all over again. So I'm going to bring down another zero. 
11 feet into 60 five times because 11 times 5 is 55. Now, again, I'm going to get a 5 here because 60 minus 55 is 5. I suggest that you stop here because you will forever be dividing this number and getting the same pattern. So your final answer is 0 and 45, as the 45 is a digit that it keeps repeating and repeating itself, I will draw a bar notation on top of 45. And this is my final answer. So I just got a repeating decimal because it keeps repeating the 45 all over again. Pause the video and try to do this one by yourself. Very good. Remember that the denominator should go outside. The numerator should go inside the box. Five fits one time into six. So it will be six minus five, which is equals to one. But I need to bring down my invisible zeros that are here, okay? Decimal point, decimal point right on top. You just moved it. And then it's a zero here. Bring down the zero. And now you know that five fits into 10 two times. So it will be... 10 minus 10, but it's equals to 0. So this is equals to negative, because this is negative, 1 and 2 tenths. So basically, you just ended up with a terminating decimal. There was no pattern here that was keep repeating and repeating and repeating. All right, I would like you to pause the video and try to do this one by yourself. Very good. The first thing that you need to do is change this mixed number into an improper fraction. So it will be 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Denominator stays the same. So negative 3 and a half is equal to negative 7 half, okay? After that, you just need to divide that. Don't forget, denominator stays outside, numerator inside. So 2 fits into 7 3 times because 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is equals to 1. Now I need to bring down invisible zeros here so I can continue dividing. I put my invisible decimal point and I'll put it right on top. And I bring down one of the invisible zeros that I have here. So it will be 10. 2 fits into 10 5 times because 2 times 5 is equals to 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. And I just got a terminating decimal. This is equals to negative, because this is negative, 3 and 5 tenths.